To eliminate the threat, you go straight for the brain. That's a, that's a... <laughs> like how he, he missed the face Eight entirely. Down, yeah, it was because he, you go right for the, the nose. Way. Now, if you can't get to the brain, that's okay. You're going to want to take it down by sweeping out its legs. <laughs> um, if none of that works, I'm, the last thing that you want to do. I'm not sure these students can do that. Uh, Whoops. Okay. Yeah, you're not taking this seriously His enough. Physiology is so different. Speaking of, tackle the bag of ravioli and candy canes. That's a basket of deep fried shit. I, I just don't get it. Oh, is that her character? That man does not take risks. <laughs> Neither do we. Look at us. Does now. the does the funny swear? He loves his mm. girls, you love him. And I love you, idiot. Which is why I'm here. Dad hopes a good kid. That shit is badass. As Negan would say. Oh, I love you too, Hulk. I know you yeah. Know. Way too early to be nimble. I've seen you, limbo girl. I think you'll manage. Don't Nobody you stop. Than me. But that's when the sun's down. Okay, Dad. Get out of my house. Oh, uh, I was literally just about to say that. I yeah. wish I'd said it now, because it yeah, hard for you. that's you know, obviously. Right. We can talk about Get out of my house. Yeah. And you're gonna have to live with that. Yeah, I will. No, you won't. Nope. It's the blaze. The what? This is a... Blaze it. Yeah, that's it. So it's real. The blaze of gory. What? Blaze of uh, gory? Yeah, I'm, I'm with Silas. B O G. People have been talking about it since everything fell apart. The bog. This everlasting fire of totally Old Testament proportion. How is he going to charge his camera? Uh, is it? I didn't think it was a digital. Well, then, how is he going to get it developed? Do it himself. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah? Huh? Oh, oh what the fuck? You're just there, are you? Wow, this went to shit real quick, didn't it? Come on. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna absolutely fucking batter it. Oh, not yet. Oh no, not yet, not yet. Good. No, that's good. Yeah, you got to, you got to save it up until like that's the thing. episode four, yeah. and he goes fucking mental. He he can't release the beast because if he does, he can't put it back. Yeah. You lost it. Oh, you found a treehouse. I was gonna say, uh, it, uh, although initially a leisure thing, a bowling ball is not a bad melee weapon to have. Mm. Especially if you've oh, got it in a bag like that, you can swing that and that'll... Swing it a bit better, yeah. That'll fucking take some heads off. Big move! What is this? They're making friends. They're making noise. Big move! Big move! See? Too loud. You fucking idiots. Oh, it's the same one. Ah. You could just drop it on his head from here. I think they might do that. Big Mo. Oh. Didn't quite do it. You just go play Monopoly with a zombie downstairs. All right. Yeah, well, they can't climb trees. You better fucking hope they can't. Monopoly is a lot more stressful than this. It's not. It's, it's not. They're it's not trying to be, be nice. I know, but Monopoly is not the game for it. 
And she's gonna burn them all. <laughs> Do you think Doctor Who's gonna see uh, eventually oh, that she's got that? That'll be the trigger for it, yeah. Be like, that was my mum's lucky gobstopper. And she'd be like, no, it just happens to look similar to the one your mum had. And then they'll be like, how do you know my mum? And then it'll be fucked. Don't you fall down as well. He doesn't understand what that means. It's our little secret. Oh no. It's frozen. Ah, Can you hear me? Yep. I can't hear you. But you can't hear me. If you can hear me. Fuck. Frozen. Shit. I can't. I can't. <sighs> Shite. Oh. Well? I'm blind. <laughs> Wonderful. I think we can do this. <laughs> you can't. Maps they've not got enough food to go it's for sixty fucking miles, and they've this. not got enough go skills to last sixty fucking seconds in that. House on fire? No. Nope. He's the, the guy. He's shot his mum and himself. Oof. My prediction is that they're fine, but the dad's still a dick. Dad, let me help you get somewhere safe. We don't need your help. Ah, uh, yeah, on, there you go. And it's their life, their death, that defines us all. How about a sing song? Big Mo? How? How would you fuck? Well, you're about to find out. Yeah, but like, even Rick and that would think twice about doing this. Yeah, but they're children. <laughs> Is that going to be the excuse for a lot of this? They're children, so they make dumb decisions. Um, I, I think they can get away with that initially. This this should be the moment where they end up actually having to kill because they've not yet done that, and that's going to be pretty traumatizing for that's them. And then, them. So much for East. yeah, they'll have to think a bit more. Fine with them making dumb decisions. I'm not with their dumb decisions going without consequence. Knowing where you yeah, well they've gotten away with it everything. twice, so this will be the yeah pushing their luck too far. Right? Yeah. Can't see it. Sometimes you don't get to know where you're going. Well, there it is. you're fucked. This way. Oh, really? Oh, so they just they just did it. It was a bit smoky and they had to run and they were a bit scared but they got through it fine unscathed. <sighs> fuck off with that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Here we go. There's going to be a fuck ton more. Yeah, but I'm sorry, but a fuck ton more doesn't excuse the fuck ton that they just got through. We didn't do it. Let's get some rest. Do better with fresh heads. Yeah, where are you exactly that you can just get some rest? You're on the roof of something. How did you get on the roof of something? Ladder. Hmm. The 
walkie-talkie reminds me of bubbles. Welcome back to The Walking Dead Went Beyond, which we are watching to try and justify 10 seasons of Walking Dead knowledge to ourselves, our families, and perhaps our God. This is episode two, and it was... How would you describe it? It was it was all right. It was okay. It's um, it was better than the last one. <sighs> yes, it was better than the, yeah. There was nothing blindingly stupid like uh, Hope's backstory. The problem is is that has to keep coming up now because that's like her defining thing. You know, in in the mm. in this alone, granted, one of them was in the recap, but in the start of this episode alone, they cut back to that bloody dumb gunshot thing like twice at least. <sighs> yeah, at the moment, I'm thinking like if this was maybe six episodes, because mm. they are they are going to do an anthology series so right which is, is I mean, just bunches of randoms if, if different every episode kind of thing yeah but they could have done like uh what's it called? american horror story they do every single season is a totally different story mm. um but it's kind of the same themes and that so they could have yeah you know, they could have done uh, I don't. I don't think it's quite we... the same. But Fargo is almost that, isn't it? It's it's yeah, the same yeah, yeah. sort of place. So they could have characters. done like a yeah. If this was part of the anthology thing, they could have done a whole like season that was like a six episode season that was one story, and then the next season they could do like lots of individual episodes or like two parters, or they could have played around with things like that. That could be interesting because then. You know, you don't have to necessarily stick to storytelling conventions because it's going to be a one-off thing or it's going to be a shorter thing. There's more tension because, you know, you know that ca characters could fucking die at any second rather than have to... All of these four are presumably going to stick around, well, at least this season. They'll form... Yeah. Doctor Who will be angry with Thingy for killing his mum and they'll have a, a rivalry or a, an antagonistic relationship in the second season or some shit. Yeah, I, I feel like that. But yeah, at the moment. I feel like that revelation isn't going to come to a head until like the last or penultimate episode. Yeah, it could even be like a fucking dumbass, like almost like a cliffhanger. Yeah, like, he pulls a gun on her or something. Mom. Yeah. And then cut to black gunshot, <laughs> just like a student yep. film. I think the problem is it's gonna be, it's gonna be too long. But that was better. Like the, the there were some nice scenes there. The the treehouse scene was was yeah all right. that that seemed um, all right. There was the only thing with the treehouse scene was, I think I've mentioned this before. I am worried about them. Um. Uh, dousing the seriousness of zombies, of of making them a, a joke, of not that threatening, but that was the only hint of that, and it could have been a lot more in this episode. Like I say, from the very first scene, she could uh, Iris, she could have killed that zombie, and it could have been like, oh yeah, woo, fuck yeah, booyah, all this sort of crap. But she didn't. Yeah. She totally fucked up with it, as you would, being a sheltered child who has done nothing but, you know, as we saw, this was a good framing device, actually. Felix giving the lesson and everything, you know, to show that they they know the theory on this, but they very much don't know the practice, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it also shows us a bit more of what that settlement was like, because we've had in the main series, uh, I think like, you know, Rick's group and Alexandria or whatever, they would very much teach children the practice as well. 
Whereas yeah. this, it's much yeah. more protective, this isn't is it? Theory. They're like one day Physics you might have to university. Yeah. I mean, they're like one day you have to do this, maybe or whatever. But they're not as hands on with it. Hmm. I'm just not into this. Like, oh, these two are following them. <laughs> well, it's it's funny that you didn't like Felix or Huck because this was damn near an entire episode of Felix with his backstory and everything. Yeah, I mean, it was... I was not <sighs> expecting that. Yeah. See. Yeah. Because because I'm kind of fine with. I mean. Huck kind of gets on my tits, but um, I'm kind of fine with the two of them as side characters, which is what I thought they were. But then we're getting this quite in-depth backstory for Felix, and he has like a whole arc on this episode of because they're travel, they happen to be traveling through the same area where he lives, and um, and then unfortunately the payoff really amounts to nothing because he he sort of just goes back to his house and i don't know if i misinterpreted it but he he just doesn't do anything he the door is still locked and he doesn't go yeah. in i don't know maybe he'll go back later don't know. Because they said was the person that he killed. Who was that random zombie that he went up and killed? Well, that's what I mean. Was that maybe his was that parents? His mom or... But then that was treated so well, not casually, but like I don't know. That whole the whole end of this bit was the structure was weird, and and then you have like an almost yeah, ADR. You have an almost ADR thing of Huck saying, "Are you going to tell me where you went last night?" He said to kill my parents, but then it just yeah ends. that did feel like it was like added because people didn't understand what was happening. But at the same time, yeah, it's still not clear. Yeah, because the scene just ends, or not. and and then he's so like, yeah. No, this stuff is all well, this stuff is fine, but it's just like we've seen characters like this before on the other shows. Sure, um, it's it's it wasn't it's not playing into, for want of a better phrase, the USP of this series. You know, the unique yeah. selling point. Yeah, it is weird that we're getting a whole Felix backstory thing when we've barely, when we haven't really had enough from our yeah our four main characters. I I do um, agree with you. I think this should be maybe six episodes, and it should be more tightly focused on the kids, developing them as characters. There's plenty you can do in six episodes for that. Um, Mm. Because, yeah, like we were saying, this this treehouse scene was good. They were, they were, were, I don't know, I have a very low tolerance for cringe, but um, they were acting like kids, which is a bit cringy. But, you know, it's whatever. Um, And they're getting to know each other. They're relaxing a bit more, but they still have the problem of there's a zombie below the treehouse and you know what to do about that and mm. that and again they f- they fuck it up yeah yeah they, there's not a well we'll get to that but for up and for most of this episode there's not a lot of succeeding um <clears throat> the wasp zombie was a nice visual idea i don't think we've yeah. seen that before I wish I just wish they'd executed that better um, because it was a bit like sudden. It was like rah, oh no, and then they just ran, ran away, away and a it bit was gone. And, yeah, yeah. They should have. That should have been a, a thing. That should have been a really tense scene where they go into a house and it's really dark and they're looking around corners and blah blah blah. Yeah. And then they're like, oh shit, what the fuck's that? And then they're like, oh, don't worry, it looks dead or whatever. And then. Ah, bees, bees, bees. <laughs> yeah, there's. And you they could have, have made run around. Yeah, you could have made that a scene rather than. I don't want to say a jump scare, but it was there and then it was gone. Back a bit. Oh, are you not trying to find that? No, not that specifically. But nah, if there's anything particular really... you want to. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't want to see any more of this. Yeah, I think we differ here. I, yeah. Yeah, so, so I'm the okay finale... with them getting through this because there is so much worse to come, which will be a large chunk of the next episode. But you... I yeah, I disagree because I think just by 
you know, it's, yeah, you can say it's not a victory because they're only halfway through or whatever, but there was still, so before they got to the tire fire area, um, the lava zone, they, um, this was a shit ton of zombies and they were incredibly lucky. They weren't. Yeah. Maybe, maybe as we say, they should have lost a weapon or a, someone's bag. Yeah. And then they would have been like, Oh, phew, we made it. But at, but at a cost. Oh, I lost my bag. It doesn't yeah. matter. Consequences. Yeah. yeah. Cause... But, but then, but then still even have it like, Oh, it doesn't matter. We've got plenty of food. Don't worry about it. But then they look and see like, oh shit, no, we're not even halfway there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, I assumed something was there was going to be some consequence. Cause like th- this is this actual um screenshot I've got up at the top there, that's them. They had zombies pretty much all around them, like about a meter away, and they ran out from them totally unscathed. And we have them pushing them over. We have them drop, not drop kicking, but like sweeping the legs. And it sort of brought... As they were taught. Yes, they what? were taught that. But again, it's <laughs> theory versus practice. We saw them fucking mm. up and the fucking up basic kills. And now they're suddenly doing leg sweeps. And I, I'm sort of questioning the ratio of how decomposed a body is versus the weight of like an adult you know person for a child to be able to sweep the leg and knock it over if you get what i'm saying well yeah i think zombies they they don't have good mobility at all though do they so i think you can quite easily sweep the leg i'm okay with that it's also very smoky there maybe the zombies struggling to see them or smell them well, that's the thing, though. Zombies mostly but, smell, don't they? Or, or... Uh, they stink. They absolutely yeah. stink. Okay, here we go. <laughs> but um, but um, um <laughs> no, I just. But yeah, no, they should have. They should. They they should have lost something small here. Got to the end. Gone. We made it. We lost something, but it's fine. And then gone. Oh shit! No, we're only. I feel of- like the our main four characters have to survive to the end already. Well, what would be interesting though, is maybe if, um, Huck and what's his name? Felix. Yeah. What if they do catch up to them quite quickly? Maybe they save them from the bus mess, but then one of them dies quite. I can see. Yeah. I can see Felix or Huck dying. Um, yeah. So then it's maybe like the four kids and one adult. Who is like, or or something? I don't yeah, know. I mean, maybe that's why we've got Felix's backstory so early because he's because then he'll die on borrowed time. <laughs> yeah, and we don't quite know Silas's deal if he is the muscle t- <laughs> or what is. Um... He's going to be a cold-blooded murder machine. Yeah, well, that's the thing we were talking about how no one gets a kill count, and they still haven't actually in this episode, have they? I'm yeah, yeah. That's I'm all right with that yeah. as well. Actually, I'm hoping that their first maybe it'll be the next episode when shit gets real bad, and that's when they realize that they they fucked up and they shouldn't do this again. And yeah, that would be all right. It's nice that they've seemed to have for the moment really left behind CRM and all that shit at the campus because we, you know, we still don't know what exactly happened there. They seemingly gunned down 9,600 people. I guess we yeah. won't get an answer to that for quite a while. I'm, I'm going to guess that that was... That didn't actually happen. I think no. it might have happened. But that would be so dumb. It and would also, be so dumb. How would they kill 9,000 people? There was only like 20 of them or something. Yeah, but did you see how good those guards were? Yeah. <laughs> if if they can kill six zombies in under a second, imagine what they can do to nine thousand six hundred people. Yeah, no, they should make it. The see, they could have even. Oh, I'd have I'd have preferred if they didn't have them in at all, or or you could have had 
instead of the kids like being like, oh, we want to go explore, maybe they could witness something, misunderstand it, and then run away. And it turns out mm. that like, oh, they no, they were helping to kill a bunch of zombies. They weren't shooting down innocent people or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Interestingly, the uh, overall series rating has gone up by 0.1 since we last watched. Ooh. So that wasn't us. I can guarantee that now. I haven't rated anything. <laughs> um, but it's interesting to note. As for this episode, we have a user review of one star. Is that out of 10? I guess that's out of 10. That's by 10, Buddy yeah. Bradley, 22665. This show is slow and boring. The plot makes no sense at all. After 10 years, the children of the apocalypse have grown up to be idiots. Is, is this literally kids these days? The review. <laughs> <laughs> Watch as they are outsmarted by the dead. What they tried to do in this episode can't be explained. Well, that I guess our whole podcast segment was uh, useless. And affects the credibility of the show. It has none now. Um... I would argue the credibility took a beating in the first episode. I don't know what this episode did that really shattered its integrity. Yeah, or anything. I'm not sure if this is a review specifically about this episode. Uh, it is. Well, keep reading. Oh, it is. Trust me. I got. Oh, I know it's. I know it's been posted there, but I don't know if this person is. Oh right. Just generally, generally <laughs> angry. Hmm. Maybe. I expect stupid stuff to happen in every episode. The show's a tire fire, unlike the one in the show that's been burning for 10 years, yet contains few tires and fewer still that appear to be burning. Uh, sorry. I mean, I can see quite a yeah. few there. And they do seem yeah. to be burning. The show looks and smells like the real thing. What? Surely that's good. Um, suggests that the show consider adding some realism to the next episode by showing the current cast being eaten by the dead after making another of their unreasonable decisions. Well, that would cut the show very short, wouldn't it, Buddy Bradley? Let's be reasonable here. I will agree that some of their decisions have been unreasonable, but, you know... So, so far, it makes sense yeah. enough. Then start over, new cast and new writers. Might make more sense to cancel this and realise that the Walking Dead concept is dead. Shouldn't have done this. Nice. Yeah. Sick burn. So we got a 5 out of 10, which is clarified to be 2.5 out of 5 stars. All right, thanks. Nice, 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 nice. Thanks, Cruz. Uh, Second episode is worse than the first. No. <laughs> characters are annoying. Iris is obnoxious and annoying throughout. The actress playing her. So, so far, Felix and Huck are the only tor tolerable characters. No, have you listened to Huck? She's got as much slang as the kids. It's if that's what's annoying you, the annoying dialogue. You know, I hmm, no. I d yeah, I don't think that adds up at all. Um, while four struggle dealing with one Walker, it's laughable and stupid. Uh no. no, it would be that's the point. Yeah, it's the opposite. What you want? I can't believe we're defending this show. <laughs> yeah, this is a weird turnaround. If if they if the end of the last episode was Iris heading towards that zombie and the start of this one was her cleaving its head off in one clean slice, she turns around, sticks her tongue out, and goes booyah, bleh, you know, and fucking rave music starts and everyone starts dabbing. That would be laughable and stupid. Uh... It's a shame they won't have dabbing in this universe. Oh, you never know. They might find a way. Hmm. They'll, they'll see a zombie trapped in a weird position and go, hmm, hmm. that looks like a viral sensation. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, because it's a virus. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's true, actually. There's just a few piles of burning tyres. Again, did people watch the same episode as us? Granted, it's a bit smoky, but that looks like quite a lot of refuse. Although they do make a good point, which is something I was going to say, actually. Oh. Um, yeah, them sleeping there. I was like, that smoke's not going to be doing them any favours. But... They should have found somewhere better to sleep, for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's an interesting point. Um, yes, bothered at all by the acrid stench of burning tyres. 
and spend the night right in the middle of it. Yeah, that 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 is actually a legitimate flaw. Amanda Fletcher. Well done. Um, is this even part of The Walking Dead? Yes. Yes. The show's trailer looked very promising. Did it? I've not seen the trailer. Uh, uh, it didn't. <laughs> I remember. Here I thought. Oh my. Here I thought I was being Mr. Cynical, but um, we're actually being somewhat uh, generous to the show compared to a lot of people. This person yeah. just has a real vendetta against the name Iris. Called Iris. Yeah. Who approves of these blurm rim ass story? Mm. Mm, yeah. Any men left? What? Uh, there were men in this episode, yeah? Yeah. That's a bit weird. Um, I tried to watch this with an open mind, but after one and a half episode, I quit. These kids are obnoxious, ill-prepared. What the ill-prepared... <laughs> Ill prepared is kind of the yeah, and in general totally uninteresting. All right, when I would have continued watching, I suspect I would have hoped for a full blown Walker. Excuse me, a full blown empty attack that would wipe out the entire. Group. A lot of people ending up on that. A lot of people saying I want everyone to die, and that would make it a better show. Mm. You can't have everyone die. You can... People have now gone too far the other way. Like it used to be that. Nothing, no one would ever die in anything ever except maybe the very last episode of the last season of your TV show. And now it's gone because of Game of Thrones and things like that. It's gone completely the other way where it's like, oh, we're going to kill this character off randomly and it's shocking. And it's like, yeah, but then you just bring in another character who's kind of similar to them to replace them. And it's like mm. characters who, you know, you can you can grow in other ways. Rather, well, yeah, you can't grow if you're dead. <laughs> yeah. You can you can do other things. You can do mental and physical damage to your characters to alter them yeah. and their relationships. Yes, absolutely. Um, rather than just killing them. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a good example with yeah Game of Thrones because yeah that kind of I guess popularized the idea of you know sudden deaths of characters. But we've also seen. Game of Thrones do that well and be around long enough and degrade long enough to do it shit as well. Where they yeah. just, you know, killed episode uh, characters for no reason. I even said this about yeah. the main series of Walking Dead in some instances. If you kill off a character, you better have as good a character to replace them. But not just copy paste with a different no, name. No, not the same character, but be... of the same quality, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, you've got to think about it. You've got to, th uh, yeah, it, it, you can't just be doing it for the shock value. Well, you can, but you've got to plan for what happens after that. <laughs> you know, it's... Yeah, it's a balance. Yeah. It's a high risk, high reward thing to do, you know. Mm. Five or a six, a six, a three, three stars out of five. Is that overall of this episode? This episode, uh, I would go. I guess I'm a bit harsher. I would first episode. I would put at maybe a three or something, and this I would say is a four. Um, out of ten, yeah. Um, See, I'd give the first one maybe a a, a one out of four, and the second <laughs> one yeah, well, now... a three out of five. <laughs> what? We're working off. Comp yeah, this is all fucking pointless. It's pointless if we're <laughs> if we're working off different scales to start with. But even if we were working off the same scale, the whole stars thing is a bit, you know, reductive, isn't it? Maybe maybe overall it's probably about forty two percent at the moment. Out of seven, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, three Her well. three Herschels out of a Shane. <laughs> Speaking of home, let's relax with a bit of classic Herschel. First blood! Double kill! Headshot! I checked the shed and I can't find him anywhere. Not in the cellar or the attic. Why can't he listen for once? Okay, 
Okay, we followed his daddy. He went that way. No, you're in my toe. We can't stay here. <laughs> just in the background. <laughs> we have to trust. If we find him, he's gonna need his mother. We've gotta go. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sass me, woman. I'm in the zone. Humiliation. Ludicrous <laughs> kill. Meta kill. Monster kill. <laughs> Marshall's OP. He, he was OP. They had to nerf him. <laughs> so I'm saying he's still shooting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Rick, I've got a kill Good streak days. going. Oh. Good stuff. Well, yeah, I think that's episode two then. Neither shit nor amazing. Just. Which is fine for an episode yeah, it was, two. It was all right. If you just yeah. want to build up some solid groundwork. Um, that's the thing with any episode two. You can give it a bit of leeway as to, well, it's episode two. You know, we don't know what the full picture is going to be like yet. If every episode is like this, we'll have fucking problems. But <laughs> yeah. But so far. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt for now. Mm. Yeah.